This tutorial is brought to you by blogtomedia.com. Hey guys, William here, and today I want to show you how to set up your website email address from within Gmail. And uh, basically, in the last tutorial, we walked you through uh, creating a new email address within GoDaddy. And uh, if you don't have GoDaddy, this process is going to work the same way for you. Um, this is just the second part of that tutorial. So, what we want to do here is go into the preferred Gmail account that we want to use. So I'm going to just type in here, blog to media and put in my password here and sign in. Okay, from within my Gmail account here, I want to go over to the right hand side to this gear where it says settings. And I want to click the little drop down and go down to settings and left click on it. Okay, now what that does is pop up this information here, and I want to click on Accounts. And then you can see Send Email As and Add Another Email Address You Own. So I'm going to click on that, and yes, I want it to say From William Fletcher, and then I just want to add my new email address. Well, I just set up William at blog2media.com. So I will click next step and I will send it through Gmail, next step, and click on send verification. And what it's going to do when I click this is it's going to send an email to William at blogtomedia.com just to make sure that I own that email address. And actually, since I already had that set up as a forwarding address, you can see that that came to this email address. So I just want to open that up and grab that confirmation code. Copy that with control C. Go back in here, paste that in. And all you got to do is click on verify. And basically that's that's it. Now when I go to compose an email, I will have an option. Oops. Bring that back up here. I can have it go from the regular one, or I can choose now I can choose William at blogtomedia.com, or I could add the the other one I had made, which was support at blogtomedia.com. So you can see you got quite a few options there. Now one other thing I want to show you is if you go back into settings and accounts, I could click on, let's see, see here along the right, you can make this the default address. So if I do that, it is now the default one. So now if I compose an email, you will see now it wants to use William at blog to media .com. And I actually prefer to do that so that way any email that I send is always coming from my website address. All right, that does it for this one. Thank you so much for checking it out. And uh, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much.